Here is the main landing page of the application. You can read through all the general information about Wiscom, but we can hit the Get Started icon. And we are here at the login page. You can use your Google account to log into Wiscom, or you can create a new account with the help of your Google or email address as well. So if you logged into your account, you arrive at your workspace, which is currently blank. You can add uh, new files and structure them into folders. I'm going to switch to my usual work workplace or workspace. Here you can see I have a ton of files and a ton of folders that I can, that I can order in. If you click on this three dots of a newly created file, you can move into any of the workspaces and any of the folders that you have here. In the pro version of the application, you can even use these workspaces to collaborate with your teammates on different projects. You can invite teammates with the help of their email address and they can join you in your workspace. You can also set certain roles just like admin, editor and viewer of a certain workspace and the files inside it. You can also find your general workspace settings under this setting bar. You can also see the help options that we have about the application. We have some tutorials, we have a broad documentation around the app. You can join our community or directly contact us with this support icon. Here at the left bottom corner, you can see all of your account settings. You can change your password and manage your account. But let's get back to home and let's create a new folder. We are going to call it headphone course, headphone course. And I go inside that newly created folder and I'm just going to create a file inside it. So if we created a new file, we can select the aspect ratio of the canvas that we want to work with. Considering that we are going to work with headphones, then the square one is the most fitting. I'm just going to hit create. And it created for me this square canvas. And it is what we call the Press Studio application. It's essentially a drawing app. So you can instantly start creating and drawing on the canvas with the help of your stylus. I'm going to go over the main interface of Press Studio. So at the laptop toolbar, you can find this Wiscom logo. You can go back to files from here. And as you can see, here is our file. And I'm just going to quickly give it a name. Let's rename it to uh, interface. And I go inside it again. So this laptop area is all about drawing inside Viscom. You can set the specific color that you want to work with. You can set up your brush by adjusting the size, opacity, hardness, shape, and orientation of your brush. You can do this with the eraser as well. You also have basic shape tools. Let's create something like this and also create a box without fill with a border like that. And we have the transform tool. With the help of the transform tool, you can transform each layer. You can like rotate, scale and adjust the proportions. You can hold down shift for proportional scaling. And by right-clicking on top of another layer, you can select them and move them around. Speaking of this, I created the new layers with the help of the keyboard shortcuts. I clicked N on the keyboard to create a new layer. And this brings me to the keyboard shortcuts that we have. Under this little question mark, here we have the keyboard shortcuts. This can nicely accelerate the workflow. And this can be like a muscle memory if you use Photoshop or any other drawing application before. We also have the Impainting tool, which I'm going to talk later, and you have the option to import image. But you can always import images by dragging and dropping instances on the canvas like PNGs or JPEGs. So speaking of layers, at this right top toolbar, you have two main tabs. One is the Layers tab, where you can see all of your previously added layers. You can reorder them, hide them, delete or duplicate them just like you could do with any other layers in different drawing applications or select the blending option or opacity. 
you can add new layers or import image as well. The other tab is the Create tab, where you can construct your rendering with the help of a short description by selecting the mode and the rendering style that you want to get and setting the drawing influence, which is going to determine how much of your canvas is going to influence the end result. And you can also set the number of images. You can export what you have on a canvas as a PNG at any time with the help of this export button at the right top corner. And you can export it in 1080p or 4K as well. So let's get back to this layers tab. Let's hide all the layers for now. And here you can see that you can add a new layer, you can import an image from your computer, or you can have this 3D layer option. I'm going to click on that. So this 3D layer interface allows you to upload your 3D models and meshes into Viscom and move them around, set a specific angle or view that you want to have a snapshot in and just add it to your canvas as a layer. So that's what I'm going to do. Actually, I just created a very basic headphone template in Blender and I'm going to upload it as a GLB this time. You can also upload FBX or OBG formats as well. So I just click on it and it will add to my 3D model library inside Viscom and it's connected to my workspace. So every file I'm creating in that specific workspace is going to have this model. And if you want to delete some of the models, you can click on this more icon and here you have the option to delete some of the models or remove them. Let's get back to this headphone. I'm going to use some more extreme perspective. You can rotate with the help of your stylus or mouse and you can also use these uh, little sliders for final control. I'm going to have something like this in a more product visualization perspective kind of view. And I'm going to click Add to Canvas. And by that, it creates a layer on top of my already existing layers as a 3D layer. It's a bit different than 2D layers because I can click on this little downwards arrow and I can edit in 3D. And by that, I can set another view and update the layer like this. But I'm going to go back to the original one by hitting Ctrl Z. And if this 3D layer is not in a correct position, you can always hit M on the keyboard to use the transform tool to center the 3D layer and just move it in the right place. 